It's Chris again. I'm here at Queen Anne's County Animal Services. I've got Brittany, and we are here because you have a surprise for me. I do. Because I've seen the doggies mm-hmm. that are offered here. Yep. I've seen all the kittens, all the, kittens. All the cats. But there's always going to be more because I'm going to be coming back, of course, for more. But you've got a surprise, and there's an animal that I haven't seen here no, yet. No, no, you haven't. Have you ever seen a bunny? I mean, well, we're talking uh, Bugs Bunny. Uh, it's a, a bunny that I see in my backyard. No, I mean, not Bugs Bunny because he'd probably be adopted by now. But we have Jack, Mr. Jack the Bunny. <gasps> Mr. Jack. You seeing this? He's an <laughs> adorable bunny. Yes. That's the breed adorable indoor friendly bunny who is social with other bunnies why do you need to know more adopt mr jack because he needs bunny friends okay so mr jack is here waiting for you to bring him home but mr jack's not the only special friend that we have to introduce everybody to today right oh no we're gonna meet some cats we're gonna meet a dog Mm -hmm. so we have a lot of special friends that have actually been waiting a pretty long time to be adopted I don't know what we're waiting for. Let's go. We'll see you soon, Mr. Jack, because now we're spotlighting a couple kitties. And who do we have here? Well, this is Lucy. <gasps> Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Lucy is a very special lady. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually is living in our chief of services office. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, she is also a shoulder cat. So <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> she likes to be on your shoulder when you carry her around. Uh, but Lucy's been with us in the shelter for probably about two or three months now. Mm-hmm. She, even though she is lovable, she likes to be held. She's mm-hmm. a lap cat. Um, a lot of people will shy away from her because, Lucy, you have to turn around for this. <laughs> she has some scarring on her one eye. Mm-hmm. Now, our vet says she still has full vision. Um, her ears also tipped because she came in as a feral, which she is not feral at all. Um, but a lot of people will shy away from her because they'll think she can't see or that she has really expensive medical bills, but really she doesn't. She is a healthy seven-ish month old uh, female kitty who's super lovable and it just has a scar in her eye. It brings character. Yeah, like you said, it gives her character. There's, there, there's nothing she can't do. No. Yeah. Nothing at all. And we also have that nut over there who's over there playing with a toy that is sweet tater sweet tater yes sweet tater's a little bit younger Mm -hmm. she um she came in as a stray she's very shy but she loves friends that's why she's in here with lucy so she's one of those cats that you would adopt because you have maybe another cat maybe seven or nine other cats and she's adorable and she would thrive in a house with multiple other cats once she gets to know you, she will come around and you can pet her and you can love on her. Mm-hmm. But at first, she don't know you. You're mm-hmm. stranger danger. <laughs> um, yes. And she's going to take a little bit of time. But that's also why she's in our chief of services office. So she can have one-on-one time mm-hmm. with her cat friend and her human friend. So what that sounds like to me is that it's a perfect target for multiple cat households with Sweet Tater over there and Lucy. So if you've got multiple cats... Maybe you should start knocking on those double digits like uh, I already am. What do you think, Lucy? Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Jess, and Jess is getting ready to introduce us to Margarita. Hello. <gasps> oh, yeah. Margarita, um, her favorite hobbies are obviously zoomies. Um, Lots of zoomies. Yes, <laughs> playing with her stuffies, um, walks in the park. <laughs> She loves, loves playing with doggy friends, and she would be a great dog to take hiking. (laughs) She's got so much energy, and we we were just saying right before we started rolling how she doesn't just step (laughs) off of things. She does this, like, Superman kind of, like, up in the air, down on all four. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got a vertical crazy ups. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. She is amazing. I mean, she'd probably be good at agility if someone would be interested in training her that. (laughs) Because everything she's doing (laughs) is just wonderful. She's having so much fun. So she's been here for a little uh, a little while longer than you guys would like, right? Yes, so. yes. Um, she's definitely been overlooked, mm-hmm. um, which is unfortunate because she's a very good dog. I mean, I've taken her out on doggy day trips to the park. She walks good on a leash. Um, you know, I do a lot of the doggy play groups, and she does really well with other dogs as well. Okay, so I met two cats, a puppy, a bunny. They're all here waiting for you to come adopt them and get them out of here so they can have a forever home. So until then, this is Chris. 
at QAC Animal Services with... Uh-oh. Sweet Tater? Is that you? Thank you.